Hey everybody, it's nice to be back, especially here in New York. Um, this week, we had some um, hard deaths this week. A few famous people have passed away. Um, Clark Gillies, an all-time Islander legend, um, 67 years old, too young. Uh, Louis Anderson, young, early 70s, a hysterical comedian, too young. And Meatloaf, Mr. Loaf, um, loved Meatloaf. Who didn't listen to Bad Out of Hell 7,000 times in their life? Who doesn't know all the words to Paradise by the Dashboard Lights? Good old Mr. Loaf, here's to you. Remember, tomorrow isn't guaranteed, man. One day, it's going to be you or one of your loved ones, so make sure you get out there and tell them you love them. Now, I'm a little angry. Can somebody give money to the police and fund these people so they stop getting shot and killed around the country. The nonsense needs to stop. These people are heroes who put their lives on the line every day to keep you and I safe. Yet there's a bunch of numb nuts trying to fund them and this is what happens. So somebody with power needs to get off their asses and get the funding to get these people, these police, the money and support they need to be safe. So they can keep drunken, angry guys like angry, angry guys like me, drinking and alive. That's all I gotta say about that. Help those policemen, man, because you never know when you're gonna be in need. And then we got Whispering Joe. Big conference this week. Whispering Joe. Whispering Joe goes up there again with all the whispering. He did say he didn't overpromise. He's actually outperformed. I don't know where the outperformance is. The, the shelves in the stores not stocked, the higher gas prices, the inflation, the mess in Afghanistan, who he said he'd do it exactly the same. The COVID numbers uh, sort of flatten out a little bit now, but more people dying on his watch. And I really am sick of him with the infomercials for the vaccine. So Whispering Joe is at his best, and he says this. Get your two vaccine shots. Get your two vaccine shots for the maximum protection. But if you get... The third, it'll make you more safe. Well, wait a minute. The two is maximum protection. How is the third making you more safe? And why is it more important if you're whispering it, you foolish old man? Can somebody please get in touch with his wife? This is elder abuse. Joe is insane. He's, he's not right in the head. Not right in the head. Two shots even better. Joe's a guy who cares about the Ukrainian border more than our border. But he did say if Russia gives it a little minor incursion, that's going to be fine. It's just a major incursion that's going to piss him off. Then he's going to drop the hammer. What a hammer is at his age. It's more like a feather. God only knows what is going on there. Oh, and then we got, then we got, suddenly, the drunken old hag, Nancy Pelosi. The drunken old hag, Nancy Pelosi, on Martin Luther King, then, along with, with our, our esteemed president, compared... Martin Luther King, a peaceful activist who was assassinated to George Floyd. George Floyd, the drug addict felon who resisted arrest and unfortunately led to his death by a police officer who did the wrong thing. There is no comparison. One was a great man. One was a convicted drug addict felon. I'm sorry. That's just the truth. Let's not compare Martin Luther King to, to other people. Martin Luther King is a man who is only compared to himself and what he has done. And what he did, what he did were some great things and started putting our country on a very good track that we still do need to continue. I personally judge a person by who they are. I could care less about anything about you. Just your actions. And that's the way you should be. And I certainly know that's the way my friends are. Or I wouldn't love them. And we all know if that's not how they were, they certainly wouldn't love me. They give me a lot of leeway. I have to tell you that. But back to the drunken old hag. Apparently now she's ready to retire. She's going to retire in uh, the next election. Um, so now she's saying, you know what? Congress shouldn't be trading stocks. They have too much insider information. Really, Nancy? You worked about $150 million. How'd that happen? Well, we're not stupid. Well, probably about 40% of this in the country aren't stupid. The rest, Democrats. All right, sorry about that. I digress. But I'm talking about stupid. So I'm going to head back to the Democrat of California a little bit more. 
In, in California, there was a bill recently proposed to allow 12-year-olds, 12, 12 12-year-olds 12 still watching cartoons, coloring, don't know anything about history yet, to decide if they want to be vaccinated. What next? They're going to be allowed to uh, get tattoos? Uh, sex changes? I'm sure that's the one that's soon. Because who knows how to identify? Who knows? Speaking of identification, I don't know what's going on in, in Pennsylvania. And I don't know what is crazier in Pennsylvania. There was a teacher. There was a teacher. Let me look here. What does it say? There was a teacher who got fired because she refused to identify with a student who identified as a cat. They fired her. True story. It's in Pennsylvania. Can't tell you the school district because I didn't write it down. And the other one in Pennsylvania taped a mask to a child's face. And her defense was, well, it was only taped. They could have got it off any time. You, you can't recognize children as cats, and you can't tape anything to a kid's face. The insanity of a people is just insane. Teachers are taking a hit, man. Even now, 26 years I've been teaching, I've never talked about my sexuality. I've talked to many things of uh, uh, students in school. Never my sexuality. Why is this keep coming up? That teachers need to come out and talk about their sexuality to children. The people who should be talking about sexuality to their children are their parents. If it's anybody in school, it should be the health teacher in a unit. So this way they are educated, but certainly not K, one, two, three. This is more of a, a, a an older child conversation. Can teachers start reeling ourselves in? You're giving everybody a bad name, and I don't like it. My name's bad enough already. Goes with the drink, and I don't know what to tell you. Again, with this whole gender thing, um, men, no matter what you identify, cannot have a baby. It's not gender identity. It's not fluidity. It's not whatever you identify out. It's biology. The equipment is different. The chromosomes are different. So stop saying men are having babies because it's just a right out flat out lie and it's sickening because people are going to start to believe you. Why? Because they're stupid. Now, why is it that Democrats are so vehemently opposed, so vehemently opposed to a voter identification, but I went into a coffee shop, a coffee shop to get a latte uh, over the weekend in Washington and I needed my identification and my vaccine papers. This is complete complete insanity. Once again, our country continues to digress into further, further a black pit of mental instability. To say it, I'm one of the same ones is bizarre right there. That's insane on itself. Now, COVID. COVID continues to run. However, in New York, it's starting to go down, which is good because we're starting to do the right things. And I think the Omicron is going to just burn itself out. Said it before. However, People are still driving around in masks, jogging masks, going crazy. Now they're comparing the fight against COVID to the World War I and World War II. Stop, stop. People gave their lives. They gave their lives. Now I understand COVID here in the United States has been partially responsible, partial in part, exacerbated some conditions, and many have died because of COVID. I do understand that. But COVID has killed 100% common sense in the United States. COVID has slayed the common sense. And I know I'm on a tear this week because somebody said I was only slightly angry. So I'm turning it up a notch. Now, let's see another one. Black folks, can somebody tell me, any black folks out there who denied the right to vote? Because once again, I'm getting, I'm getting this information that the black folks have been denied their right to vote. Can't find any. So if you're out there, let me know. And while you're at it, if you're telling me they were denied, you may want to get your dictionary. Once again, refer to Webster. What denied means. Denied doesn't mean wait a little while. Denied doesn't mean making it difficult. Denied means no, you cannot do it. Nobody has been denied. It is a right in our country. Unless you are a felon or illegal, they're, they're denied. And I don't think that's where you're going with this one, no. So last night, last night, I'm watching a uh, commercial about some drug. And after the drug goes on, the side effects, heart palpitations, can't breathe, heavy sweats, um, muscle twitching, um, and penis pain. Please call the doctor. Okay, 
all go to the emergency room. That was the other one. I'm a little confused here because I don't need somebody to tell me if all those things have happened to me. If one of those things happened to me, I'm probably calling the doctor. But how bad is your original condition if those if that's the medication you're taking? That's really a concern. I'm telling you. If that is the side effect of the medicine to make you feel better, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know. Then we have M&M's. M&M's apparently are becoming more inclusive because the red, yellow, green, purple, brown, orange, blue, um, teal, any color in the world is already included. And you watch the commercials, they're short, fat, skinny, female, funny, nerdy, all kinds. Going to change it up a little bit to make it inclusive, a little diversity. I remember candy diversity was just Halloween. We had about six or seven different candies in the jar to hand out to the kitties. Apparently, that's not diverse candy anymore. Mars, what are you doing? What are you going to do with the Twix next? Put the cookie on the outside? Come on, man. What are we coming to? I tell you, we continue to fall into the abyss. It is insanity. Now, what do we got here? What do we got here? What do we got here? Apparently, apparently there's some more uh, congressional hearings. Now, it is a felony to lie to the government. Yet, Whispering Joe got up there and lied to everybody. So, when a government official does it, we don't call it lying or a felony. We just call it politics. I'm a little confused about that. Seems to be a one-way street there, brother. Now, um, when I was driving home from... <laughs> when I was driving home last week from Washington, we stopped to get some gas. And this man and a woman, um, probably older than me, and I'll be 53 next week, probably older than me... Um, the guy gets out of the car, he's pumping gas, the woman gets out of the car, she says, you know what? You better not drive way, way without me. I just want to know how bad that argument was in the car. And she may want to Uber home, but if I was that dude, I would have gotten the car and got the hell out of there. I mean, you should have heard the anger of this woman. Angrier than me, even after my favorite team loses and I just blew a hundred on the game. I'm telling you, that's real anger. So when I'm down there, I got the older squirrel, and he says, Hey, Dad, you wouldn't happen to have a brush with you? Not really. I thought he was a smart kid than that until I have a brush. I said, Dude, what am I brushing? So I get home that night, and the little squirrels are home, and my wife goes out. And uh, I make them dinner. I get, get some ice cream set up. So they have their iPad time, and they have a little time before they go to bed. So I said, Okay, guys, 15 minutes. Their time goes by. The buzzer goes off. I said, All right, time to go to bed. And he, one of the squirrels looks at me, and he says... Dad, this is why I needed you to stay away. Can't do anything right. Can't do anything right. Now, what do we got here? Government said if you're frustrated, angry, sad, pissed off, Jen Psaki said all this, go take a kickboxing class and drink some margaritas. Sounds like a Friday night. Is she advocating drunkenness and violence? Certainly sounds that way to me. But we've all got the green light. Go get those margaritas, baby. Now, Woman recently found out, 600 pounds. She didn't find that out. She knew. Once again, she probably didn't know how. But she found a doctor to diagnose her as anorexic. She was very surprised, as was the rest of the world. I'm a little confused on that one. Finish off with this little piece of advice. Here we go. Dear Angry Mac, my husband and I have two children and we're very happy. This is what we decided on. But now I think I want one more because I love being a mom. I spoke to my husband about it, and he said it's entirely up to me. How should I proceed? I don't know. Call Big Steve? Find a mailman? How, how should you proceed? Have some sex! Very easy. There we go. Enjoy. Kick one back. Have some sex. Get it on, baby. That's the easiest question I've ever had. Now, as I said, couldn't make it through last week. My grandfather, Joe, passed away. I'm going to toast one up to my pop. I love him. I didn't get a chance to tell him one more time, but he knew it, and I knew he loved me. So, really, we see people dropping every day now. Please, I beg you, go find somebody that you love. Tell them. Give them a hug. Text them. Call them. Tomorrow's not guaranteed for everybody or anybody. But please, I beg you, it's the only thing that makes sense in our world is to appreciate what you have today and appreciate your loved ones. I love all you guys. I'll see you next week, man. This is a truly apple cider.